feel like I'm always a teacher at heart. It's saved my skin. Today, we actually had a snow day. My body was just like shaking the entire time. I feel like now that I'm back in a full-time job, one thing I missed was I've just been like really loving the littles lately, even more so than the older kids, which kind of surprised me. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new here, welcome. Today's vlog is just going to be a weekly vlog just taking you guys along with me throughout my week in the life as a teacher slash permanent substitute, whatever you guys want to call me nowadays. I feel like I'm always a teacher at heart and I work with kids all day and I'm still teaching kids all day. So I'm like, it's just easier to call myself that. But it is a new day. It's a new week. I'm so excited to vlog this week. If you guys missed my last vlog, I showed you guys, or my last couple vlogs had a lot of updates, a lot of exciting news just with life about my engagement and our new addition to the family. So if you guys have not watched that last video, definitely go watch that. I'll have it linked right here. But I'm glad that all the announcements are like out of the way so we can get back to business, resume content as normal. I'll just start vlogging weekly again. Um, I said my last one to let me know what kind of content you guys do want to see, um, whether that's more like day in the life content, routine content, wedding planning content. Definitely let me know. Comment down below. A lot of you guys said to do more wedding planning content, so I definitely can. Um, but let me know what type of wedding planning content you guys want to see as far as like what I've already planned or how I'm going about planning or if you want like specific videos on specific things like choosing bridal parties or making the guest list or picking my wedding dress like dedicated videos to those topics I can definitely do that as well I don't know like how much knowledge I have on it yet since I'm in the midst of it right now or I don't know how much I'll have to share about it since we just started but definitely let me know if that's something you're interested in I'm about to do my morning skincare I've been using this advanced protection cream from Osea it is seriously it's saved my skin in the winter time my skin gets really really dry in the winter I don't know about you but like honestly my whole body just gets really dry but especially my face and typically my skin breaks out more in the winter time than the summertime I feel like in the summertime the sun actually like helps my skin like just getting those vitamins getting that hydration but in the winter time I'm like obviously so pale I'm lacking a lot of sun a lot of vitamins a lot of moisture so I am always always looking for a good moisturizer so this one from Osea is the best super super thick great quality like you can literally see it's like so so thick a little goes a long way that's what I love about it so you just have to use like a tiny dab and it goes a really really long way so this jar I'm sure will last me so so long like it'll probably last me the rest of the year honestly if I use it wisely um, but it's really really good for anti-aging just to reduce the lines and appearances of wrinkles which as I get older it's something that I have started to care about more and more so I also want to make sure my products are supporting that. The best part is that Osea is clean, vegan, cruelty free, seaweed based skin and body care. It's female founded. It is the ultimate anti-aging moisturizer. You can just see how rich and thick the texture is. It feels so good on your skin and like I said a little really goes a long way. It's so important to invest in products that are naturally derived and have high performance ingredients. I feel like these are the products that I can tell really for my skin. It seriously feels so good, so moisturizing. I have used it in the morning and actually the consistency is really good to wear underneath makeup I found and it's not crazy crazy thick to where it's gonna like leave your skin greasy. I find that it's just extra moisturizing so I like to put it on before bed just to make sure that it like all soaks in while I sleep but it just feels so good. Always put it down my neck, put the excess on my hands. I'm just dry all over nowadays but it's the best. I will have the OCM moisturizer linked down below along with a link to their website to shop their other face and body products and I also have a 10% off discount code which I will have here on the screen.
look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are day I ended up not vlogging like much at all at school yesterday because I got put in a classroom for the entire day and obviously I'm not going to be vlogging in someone else's classroom whenever they're teaching so it was a really good day though I was in a senior kindergarten classroom which is the same thing in public schools as kindergarten some private schools have senior kindergarten and junior kindergarten the junior kindergartners are like three four years old and the senior kindergartners are around five years old so I was with the littles all day it was really fun and today we actually had a snow day I don't know if you can really see. There's, it really did not snow that much, honestly. They were expecting like four to seven inches, which I feel like is a really big range, and we ended up getting like half an inch, so I'm happy about it. They called a snow day actually last night around like five o'clock I got the call, but we definitely probably didn't need one because the roads were like not bad at all this morning. But I just got out of a quick workout. I'm <laughs> trying to get back into a workout routine. It's slowly but surely happening. I honestly just took a lot of time off today. I just wanted to, I actually signed up for a yoga class to go to right after I got out of work at four o'clock. And since we didn't have school today, I decided I'm still gonna go, I'm gonna be good. I wanted to go to the gym and get in like some cardio before yoga. So I just did a little cardio and just like very light weight training. And now I'm about to head to a yoga class. class was super humbling. I have not done yoga in a long time. I don't know why. I just, I used to do hot yoga weekly. I used to take yoga classes weekly. I just haven't done it in so long. My, if you guys have been following for a while, you know my workout routines really ebb and flow and they change just because the only way I can get myself to work out is if I'm constantly switching it up and just trying out new things. And if I'm doing one thing for a really long time, it'll just get old and I'll start like dreading working out again. So I always like to mix it up. So I did yoga every week for a really long time and it's just been so long since I've done it. So I was very humbled in that class. I seriously felt like a beginner. It just goes to show like, you really have to be consistent and keep practicing whatever it is, yoga or weightlifting 
to stay good at it otherwise it's almost like you forget entirely how to do it or like your body forgets like my body was just like shaking the entire time I could not hold poses for long at all I literally just felt like such a noob in there but it was good for me because I need to kind of like start back up and regain that strength so I am going to start doing more yoga classes I think I really want to start just doing soft more like gentle workouts instead of like the hard workouts like hit training that I've been doing the last couple years I've been really into just like yoga and Pilates and just like at-home workouts stretching meditations stuff like that that's just kind of my vibe at least right now I'm sure it'll change in a few months um, but yeah it was a really good workout I feel so good so refreshed just took a shower just doing some skincare and I wanted to show you guys the face wash that I used in the shower today this is the Osea face cleanser it's their ocean cleanser I showed you guys the cream that I use during the day and at night it's like the best hydrating cream um, but I also like to pair it with this ocean cleanser because it's super moisturizing it has seaweed infused gel so it just like I don't know it smells really natural and it just feels like it's like getting your skin so clean and I feel like I notice a difference after using this one like my skin just looks really really clean and like shiny after I use it I feel like you can tell like I don't have anything on it I just did a little um, toner pad but other than that I don't have anything on my skin I just rinsed it with this cruelty free vegan free just like their moisturizer that I use um, but yeah I just wanted to mention that I do really like this as well we can refer to this cycle as the habit loop and you can see a graphic image of it as well as a caption describing it in detail at atomichabits.com just checking in I know I have been awful at vlogging when I'm at work but that's because I'm working so I used to have I feel like so much time and my own space like my own classroom to vlog and like give you guys updates during like lunch break and stuff but my lunch break now I eat with the littles and I am usually in other classrooms throughout the day but just wanted to update you today I was in a junior kindergarten classroom which I said before is like the four-year-olds the little littles and then I am about to head to the um, senior kindergarten classroom which is the like the typical kindergarten age that you have at public school but yeah going very well just chilling in here I just had lunch and just resting a little bit taking a short break before I head back to be with the littles for the rest of the day OOTD just wearing this cute sweater I'm trying to like back up my chair I got actually from VG Dolls, if you guys follow them. I found them through Krista Horton. Um, I'm still, I still have my same lanyard that I had. It says second grade on it whenever I was teaching second grade. Um, and then just wearing some black joggers and some black boots. Good morning happy friday i just made it to school just made it to my classroom i'm just sitting down to reply to some emails and i've been trying to get some editing done like in between whenever i'm in my classroom before i'm heading to the next classroom i'm definitely reminded of like how hard it is to multitask having like a full-time job and also trying to do youtube full-time i definitely got into a good routine with it whenever i was teaching because i always had a good hour and a half lunch break so and I always ate lunch in my classroom by myself so I always had a lot of time I felt like like I would spend that whole like hour and a half just in my room it wasn't just lunch it was my kids were in specials and then I also had lunch we didn't have an hour and a half of lunch we had like 25 minutes of lunch um but I would spend that time usually just like editing YouTube videos like that was just my priority and then I would get my planning done during my planning period with my teammates later in the day or at home but yeah I was definitely like in a grind last year of spending that like hour and a half during the day editing videos and just like knocking them out um, but I'm still trying to find my grind right now I'm still trying to figure it out just because my schedule is not consistent like every day is so different I always get here at 7 30 and sometimes I have to be at a classroom immediately at like 7 30 if a teacher isn't there other times they may not need me to like 8 30 or 9 30 one morning I didn't have to be anywhere till like 11 30 so I would just like pop into other classrooms throughout the day so I just had like more freedom today I have to be in a classroom at 8 15 so 
very shortly I have to leave but I've just been kind of like spending if I have like 15 minutes or 30 minutes in my classroom in between going places I've been spending that just like getting editing done getting wedding planning done applying to emails just all the things because I'm still very much multitasking with two different jobs right now so I feel like the weeks have been going by so fast though like we've honestly had a lot of four day weeks since I started here in the beginning of January I feel like there's just been Martin Luther King Day we had a snow day my first week here I didn't start until Tuesday so the four day weeks are really nice I'm jealous of any of you who have four day work weeks and I know in February February we have a ton of four day weeks that's one thing about February I feel like every school I've ever taught in February is always like the fastest month and I feel like there's either a lot of snow days a lot of like four day weeks I feel like I think President's Day is in February so I don't know I always liked February it's also a couple days shorter because I feel like it just goes by really fast but I did want to reflect on that because I feel like now that I'm back in a full-time job one thing I missed was looking forward to days off and looking forward to weekends because whenever I worked from home obviously I had so much freedom that I was always home and it would essentially always feel like I was on a break because I didn't ever have to be anywhere didn't ever have to wake up early right like I didn't have those responsibilities so anytime that I was home I felt like I had to be working and so I never felt like I could enjoy my weekends because even if it was a Saturday or Sunday I was still at home which still reminded me that I needed to be working or at least I felt like I should be and I could be getting work done since I'm at home with my laptop and with my camera and everything and I always miss that feeling of like looking forward to a day off looking forward to the weekend looking forward to a snow day and almost like getting rewarded because you are working so hard throughout the week. And obviously as a teacher, when you have a snow day or you have a weekend, you can't do your work at home. I mean, I guess you could do some planning or something, but people who have to work somewhere, work a nine to five, work in an office or a classroom, typically on the weekend, that's when they can like shut off and turn their work mode brain off and they can just enjoy their weekend. And I just, really struggled with that. I felt like over the last six months that I worked from home, I could never turn off that work mode and like enjoy my weekends. I never had breaks just because it's not like I would just give myself a day off or I'd give myself a couple days off. I always felt like I had to be working. So I don't know. It's hard to explain, but if you work for yourself, you probably get what I mean. I feel like I'm just really enjoying having more responsibility and a place to be every day so that I can enjoy my weekends. I can enjoy whenever we have a day off in the middle of the week, or if we have a snow day, I'm working when I'm here. And whenever I'm home, home is a place for me to like rest and relax and recharge. And it's a place for me to take a break instead of a place for me to be like working all the time. So it's kind of some thoughts I've had since I've been back at work. That's just something I've been enjoying and something I kind of forgot about, like that excitement, looking forward to snow days and like days off and stuff like that, because obviously I didn't have that whenever I was working for myself. I never gave myself days off and I even felt like my weekends, I couldn't really take to like totally rest and relax. Okay, I have got to head to a classroom. I'm actually helping out in a few classrooms today. I'm starting my day in art, just helping them out over there. The art teacher is amazing here. Her classroom is so well run and she does so many amazing activities but it's always crazy in there and they're doing paint today so I told her that I would come by and help out because she can always use a few extra hands but then after art I will have lunch and then I will go to junior kindergarten for the rest of the day I was in junior kindergarten yesterday and I loved it guys I've just been like really loving the littles lately even more so than the older kids which kind of surprised me but I'm back in there for the second half of the day which I'm really excited about Happy Friday. I am about to leave work. I feel like these weeks have just been flying by. I cannot believe next week is already February, but I am so excited to go home. But before I go home, I'm going to go to a hot yoga class. I've been trying to schedule like classes for me to go to since I'm trying to get back into the workout routine. Um, so I'm trying to schedule classes so that I can't cancel them. And I'm trying to schedule them right after I get off of work. So at like four o'clock, right whenever I leave. So I've just been like bringing clothes to change into so that I have no excuses. It's really nice. I've just been treating it kind of as like my me time after work instead of like having to go work out. I'm like, it's just an hour of me time. If you're struggling to work out, don't think of it as a workout because I feel like there's just like 
like a negative connotation that comes with exercise and working out because I know it's a lot of work but also just think of it as like an hour for you to have to yourself just to do whatever you want. I feel like a lot of people think they have to do something they don't like when they're working out. I always tell people just find what you like even if that's like dancing or yoga or Pilates or running whatever it is even if you just enjoy walking outside like that is a workout of its own like just moving your body is what's important so I always tell people just like find something that you like so for me I just try to find something that I look forward to and lately it changes all the time but lately hot yoga has just been something that I really look forward to doing just because it's like an hour of just like zen music I love just the community in hot yoga rooms everyone's just really relaxed and we're just focused on like stretching obviously you get moving and you like work up a sweat but I just think that feels really good and just getting like a really good stretch in I always feel so good after hot yoga like I leave and I just like my whole body just feels like so stretched out but you also build up a lot of strength when you do yoga as well from holding the poses so I don't know I just always leave feeling really good so I know afterwards I'm gonna go home and feel better than if I were to go home right now and sit on the couch the rest of the night also you know you're getting old when Fridays are exciting to you not because you get to like go out and party but because you get to go home and go to bed early and sleep in on Saturday so that's what I'm looking forward to I know I am kind of on the struggle bus right now when it comes to vlogging just because my life has changed a lot since I've last vlogged the last couple years few years that I've been vlogging I have been a full-time classroom teacher and so I made a routine out of that when it came to vlogging and I feel like vlogging came really easy to me because I was used to vlogging about teaching and now that my life is looking a little bit differently I'm still trying to find my way in this whole world of YouTube and I still want to continue making vlogs because I truly love it. Like I really look forward to filming and editing like the whole process of it. I look forward to talking to you guys and whenever I took that really long break I realized like oh I miss like talking to my people like just getting to chat with you guys every day in the comments or over on Instagram whatever it may be. I really love talking to you guys and I love sharing parts of my life with you guys and just being able to like relate to you guys on everything even though I'm not a full-time classroom teacher. I still want to keep this channel just to document my life and all the things. So I think that's why in this vlog so many times I'm like, just let me know what you guys want to see because I obviously want to be showing you things that you guys enjoy, but I also know what performs well on my channel. Like I know some of you guys commented, you know, start filming more like fashion, makeup and stuff like that. But unfortunately, you do kind of get caught up in like the views of it because I would love to film like fashion hauls and like try on hauls or anything about just like fashion and beauty because obviously I love that stuff too. But I know in the past whenever I posted that stuff, my views just like tank. And so I know that's not something that I should be like focusing on when it comes to what I post on my channel. But unfortunately, after you've been doing YouTube for so many years, that is just something that you kind of start looking at and it starts a affecting your decisions before you choose things to film. So I am trying to like just go with the flow and just film whatever I want, create whatever I want because it's fun, not because I feel like it's a job. Since it's no longer my full-time job, I want it to go back to just being like a fun hobby for me. Um, so yeah, I hope all of that makes sense. I know this weekly vlog was kind of all over the place, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Please comment down below and let me know if you did still enjoy it and if you still want to see videos like this, just kind of like my weekly vlogs or if you want to see more like detailed day in the life vlogs or like longer chatty vlogs I can do a little mix of all three just let me know what you guys do want to see but I do love and appreciate you guys so much for still being here and sticking around after all this time I will see you guys in my next video bye <music>